Number five. You got to, oh, let me see here. I want you to come back to Luke 7. Luke chapter 7. Starting in verse 36. The feet of Jesus is beautiful to those who meet the Lord, for those who get saved. Let me share this story of this, this woman who meets Jesus. Luke 7, verse 36. When one of the Pharisees invited Jesus to have dinner with him, he went to the Pharisee's house and reclined at the table. A woman in that town who lived a sinful life... I can so relate to this. That's why the Bible is so good to to let us know we're sinners. She lived a sinful life, learned that Jesus was eating at the Pharisee's house. So she came there with an alabaster jar of perfume. And she stood behind him at his, where? His feet, weeping. She began to wet his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair kissed them, and poured perfume on them. When the Pharisees who had invited him saw this, when the Pharisee invited him saw this, he said to himself, now he's thinking this in his head, okay? If this man were a prophet, he would know who is touching him and what kind of woman she is, that she is a sinner. Now he's thinking this, but you understand Thoughts to Jesus are as loud as you shouting out. So it's so funny that verse 40, Jesus answers him. He's just thinking this. Wouldn't wouldn't that scare you? (laughs) You're just thinking something, and Jesus answers your, your comment. So Jesus said, hey, Simon, I got something to tell you. Well, tell me, teacher, he said. Well, there were two people owed money to a certain money lender. One owed owed him 500 denarii, so like millions of dollars, and the other 50, not, not very much. Neither of them had the money to pay him back, so he forgave the debts of both. Now, which of them will love him more? Simon replied, well, I suppose the one who had the bigger debt forgiven. And Jesus goes, you know what? You answered right. That's the correct answer. You judge correctly, Jesus said. Then he turned toward the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I came into your house. You did not give me any water for my feet, but she wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You did not give me a kiss, but this woman from the time I entered has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not put oil on my head, but she has poured perfume on my feet. Therefore, I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven. As... Her great love has shown. But whoever has been forgiven little, loves little. Then Jesus said to her, your sins are forgiven. The other guests began to say among themselves, who is this who even forgives sins? And Jesus said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Oh, I remember the day I got saved. You know, it's funny. I, I, the more I study the word of God, the more sinful I realize I am. The more my love for Jesus grows. But I remember the day I got saved and just crying at the feet of Jesus to save my soul. Some say, you know, I, the people who know me go, yeah, Joe, we understand why you are so fanatical in love with Jesus. Because you were such a great sinner that Jesus forgave all your sins. So that's why you became a pastor and, and you're on fire for the Lord. But I want to suggest to you that I don't care even if you think you're very moral. If you study the word of God, you'll realize you're just as great of a sinner as anyone else. Let's bow our heads. Is there anyone here this morning? Your sins can be forgiven. Why does Jesus have the authority to forgive sins? Because he is the son of God. And he paid for your sins on the cross. He said to the woman, your faith has saved you. If you put your faith in Jesus Christ, if you spiritually fall at the feet of Jesus... And, and 
You make him your Lord and Savior and ask him into your heart. Your sins can be forgiven and you can have a wonderful relationship with the Lord and an eternal home in heaven. If you're here this morning and you've never given your heart to Jesus, I'm going to pray a prayer for you and you pray along with me. You pray silently. I'll pray out loud. Lord Jesus, I fall at your feet and ask you to be my Lord and Savior. Forgive me of all my sins, which are many. Jesus, I open up my heart and ask you to come in in repentance to be my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving my soul. With heads bowed and eyes closed, if you prayed that prayer, I'd like you to lift your hand up, and then after I see it, I'm going to pray a blessing on those who prayed that prayer with me. God bless you. Anyone else? Okay. Let me. Father, I pray for my brother that you would, that he would really sense from this moment on Jesus in his life. That he would walk with him and talk with him. That he would sense the filling of the Spirit in his heart. And that he is safely in your hands for all eternity. Bless him, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. When I was lost and hopeless When I was at my worst It's grace that you extend